what's going on guys it's easy welcome to my channel so this is going to be a guide for remnants for war band the best one that you should be selecting and how they work and what you should be looking for basically let's start with the buffs itself here as you can see i am using the protector which basically gives me the block chance but this is not what i am aiming for here my goal was to get this buff from the protector which is increase your life by 6.5 percent and your size by 15 percent because having a bigger size increase your movement speed by 10 person this is confirmed by the developer so this is really good for movement buff if you have the protector the shepherd burden cup here and it would also work with the damage taken by all warband member decrease if you use this one the buffs are going to be the same so basically there are going to be two each buffs in the same category like two purple two red two green and two yellow so you have choice there and if you guys would ask me gz is five percent movement speed is better than protector i would say if it's trying to aim for movement speed then no but going inside the buffs here we have to see what it is actually giving you through the remnants like reduce damage taken by one person for every ally within six yard so if the buffs that you're getting are good from the remnants then survivor is really good there and there are two options there damage taken reduced by 3.5 percent or the movement speed itself so i hope i have explained that here clearly and the best buffs are the protector here the block chance then the attacker damage increased there then ally restore of their health when you use a potion that is okay both of these are just okay but i would say for the survivor damage taken reduced by three five percent is better than the five percent movement speed now let's talk about the remnants itself what you should keep and what you should delete so there is a lot of confusion which i noticed especially for the newer war bands they don't know what to keep when it comes down to remnants as you guys can see we have already 2020 remnants and you have to delete something and this is where most people actually got confused or the newer warband players who start their warband not knowing what to do with them so first off you need to find these remnants through the activity that you play inside the warband and that activity is called push the depth which you can find within the warband and click here and start and here you will get random remnants now talking about the remnants itself what you should be looking for so as you can see there are four options here and same remnants which you see on the menu here but for each you have to select one let me put this really easy let's say if you want to select something for the pulper buff here then make sure that you select the remnant that has more purple skills the uh, it has then same goes for the red buff here like attackers make sure that the one remnant you're going to select should have more reds in them same goes for the yellow and same goes for the green and then when you talk uh, we talk about the stacks in the purple one there are a couple of them like this one here which is green increase more block chance but we do not have that here we, the best we have is five five if you're lucky you might be able to find even better i'm not sure but damage taken reduced by one person damage taken reduced by one person remember if you see 
two of the same they do stack these two does not stack here your size does not increase by 30 percent but some of them actually does stack together so that is really good same goes here uh this one critical charge does stack with one another so make sure you select each of the same color a lot more colors that the remnants has and for that obviously you have to farm a lot our warband is more than almost a two year old now and one of our warband member bookie been really busy from the longest time to get these and i would suggest the same that if you guys are still looking for buffs the best one then start farming them get more buffs ours might be might not be the best here but they are really strong attacker has a lot of stuff there quick chance then we have increased critical hit chance by three percent while below 70 percent of your life so that is even good then increase your damage dealt by one person for two seconds every time you deal damage this is nice too then increase critical hit damage by 10% while your critical chance is greater than 70% which can be achieved with rolling consequence mother lament and your paragon tree and banquet of ice combination so yeah this does work so i hope i have explained this in the easiest way possible if it's purple go with the most purple remnant if it's red go with the most red one and yellow go with the most yellow and also read into the remnant buffs and delete rest of them the only reason why we have 2020 is because we don't farm them anymore we don't we are no longer looking so we just left them there and i hope this video helped you guys and i'll see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys